YouTube, what's going on? Salutes for the Salutes for the Kicks. We're back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And as always, join the Four Kicks Brigade so you can be part of this mighty army that we're building. When we keep it real, we keep it right, we keep it raw, and we always keep it more tour and respectful here on this channel. So let's get into it. Today's video is basically a uh, part four, if you will, about the whole mid thing. And before I get into the video, I'm going to say there's a bit of a wave that's starting. There are people who um, who kind of trashed the mids before and now they're changing their mind and that's okay. Uh, I once told a, uh, a, a much, much larger uh, YouTuber, hey, keep the same energy, man. You, you trash the mids in one of your collection videos, keep the same energy. What has happened for you to change your mind? And there's no beef anything like that. Just tell the people, hey, the shoes have gotten better, they won me over, but don't just gradually try to slide that in there like you were always a fan of the shoe when you were clearly in the video trashing the mids. So we like for you to keep the same energy out there. And that's everybody who have engaged in kind of that um, not so forthcoming thing. But anyway, we'll get into the video of how many mids that you have the solution. I'm not gonna count, I want you to pay attention. So I want you to watch the entire video and you get to count and let me know what you think about this collection. Hey, those are trash. Where did you get those from? Um, man, those are dope. Why did you beat those up like that? I've never seen those before, man. Wow, how'd you get those for that price? So let's get into it. Now, I'm gonna start off with one of the more unique mids that I was able to get for a ridiculous price. I'm not gonna flash the box in front of me because it appears in another video. It actually appears in two videos, but since it's the actual collection video, I'm gonna show it again. You got the Jordan 1 mid infrared right here. And what you can't see in the camera, I'm looking at my, my laptop screen right here, is the 3M. You're seeing it a little bit. It looks kind of gray, but it does show up when the light hits it properly. But yeah. That kind of grayed out area, these areas right here, that's 3M and these things glow. Now I said in the last video, I have not seen these in a very long time, the dead stock, look at that, the shoe tree still in there, the shaper, and um, this is a pretty rare mid. I saw a guy skateboarding in these out here in San Antonio, and I was like, hey man, you know, where'd you get those from? And you know, people that wear their shoes, they don't care, their shoes to them. He didn't cover them like I did. And I was like, wow, he beat the heck out of those, but hey, it's a shoe, you're supposed to wear it. But the Jordan 1 mid infrared, you know, see if you can find this one. This is a pretty dope one. This one right here, this it's, this is like a, um, a Jordan 1.5 mid right here. Because what they did was encompass part of the Jordan 2 on the back. So if you look at that right there, and it looks kind of blue in the camera. This is actually purple. I'm not sure why it's washing out like that. I'm going to have to tinker with that a little bit. But these are black and purple. Um, I noticed that in the last video. Maybe it's, I'll, I'll fix that in post. But these are black and purple. So it's like a Jordan um, 1.5. Got some uh, questionable gator skin on the toe box and some other areas. But as you can see, I have worn these quite a bit. One of my favorite pair of mids. I like black and purple, obviously. I'm going to start off a series that Jordan brand was doing with the mids. It's kind of like the outline series right here. So these are gold and black joints. I'm actually waited on these to drop at the uh, base exchange. These went all the way down to $59, so I scooped them up when they dropped there. Right here, there's so many pairs, I'm not gonna tell you how many I have. This is the uh, black, white, and red version right here. And I think I got these when I was driving through Alabama, Mississippi, one of those outlets I stopped in on a road trip. And I also saw these at the uh, military exchange stores going for um, $88. And I wanted to drop the 59 as well, but I think I got these for like 49 or something. Next up is another variant of that um, outline series right here where they kind of put the secondary color behind the black. And um, this sneaker right here, my daughter has the same sneaker and she destroyed these. She loved these things. I mean, it's a, it's a sneaker, you know, it's a shoe. It's designed to, warm, to be worn. I didn't think she was gonna trash them that quick. <laughs> so the story is that the sneakers that stay here with me, and she's here a lot, tend to look better because I make her clean up her shoes. When she goes home to mom, she has sneakers in as well. 
and her mom don't view sneakers like I do, so she beats them to heck. She trashes them over there. Next up is um, I said I didn't have a lot of green sneakers, green and white sneakers. This is more of a, a forest green right here, money green, if you will. And these are interesting. It's nylon and leather. And um, I got these, I think, for like four. This is when I was stationed back in Maryland at Aberdeen Proving Grounds. And if you're familiar with the area, there's a shoe city in Edgewood. I wish they bring a shoe city here in Texas. They're going to kill a lot of stores. Trust me, Foot Locker, Finish Line, especially the shoe cities, the city gears, excuse me, the city gears, the Hibbits, and um, what's that other store? Shoe Palace. They're going to kill you guys. Trust me. They, they're going to kill you guys because the stuff they get and they allow you to stack discounts. So I was just basically copying mids out of there because I, I like them. I like all the crazy colors they were releasing. And um, these were dropping like $39, $29, $49. I'll just go in every Friday, cop a pair, cop two, three. And um, I still have a lot of them. Next up is another one that I like the whole lot, but I, I told the story that I wore them in the rain. When I was driving up um, to New York to see my daughter and they got messed up in the toe box right there. I didn't protect them. I wasn't really into my sneakers like that. But this is a dope colorway right here. It was when they were basically flipping the um, retro, the high retro colorways. They were basically reversing them back then. And I like these. I was actually, yep. Yeah, I was beating on these quite a bit. Next up is the uh, mid sequoias. These were a gift. I got these back in late 2016. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, somewhere around there, I think. These were a gift. And I, I love olive. Um, if you follow my videos, you'll see me rock a lot of this olive drab, this OD green. I love this color. And um, that's how the gift came about. I mean, these are dope. I haven't worn these a lot, but I have worn them. You can see, look, they're dirty. All right. Washing out a little bit. There we go. All right. Next up is my most worn sneaker of all time these basically stay by the door you know right by the door of my house and um i, I put these on i run to the store in them i whatever these are my goatees this is an all black sneaker only thing they have white on hand actually mentioned that is the uh jump man in air on the tongue tab right there but i like the corded laces give them a very utilitarian look and um these are my tanks got the perforated swoosh on there if you yeah there you go all right, now it's fixing. But um, yeah, these were in my video, my most worn sneakers of 2018. They're probably gonna be my most worn sneakers of all times. Cause like I said, these uh, tanks right here sit by my front door. Next up are the cool gray, the cool gray mid ones right here. And they were doing the same thing. Remember I told you about the outline around here, the secondary color outline. This has white around there you go all right and this is when i really started um getting into my whole collecting thing and sneaker youtube where i wanted to know um this is one of my first videos one of my earlier videos do uh does marshall's have heat and um i got a pair of air max in these from this particular marshall's and that that marshall i need to go out there i've been out there in a while it's a sleeper marshall's i hate to talk about where they are but I tend to come up with some stuff, either for me or as a gift for, to anyone else, especially for my daughter. I always find stuff for her in there. Ooh, what do we have here? One of the more unique color blocking setups and colorways of the Jordan 1 mid. I like to call these the Papa Smurfs. All right. And um, yes, I have worn these. Check it out. That is a, a dope um, contrast with the blues on here. You got that powder blue and that kind of royal blue in here and these, these are they look white right here because my um my light keeps washing it out but it's actually a blue all right next up is a dead stock uh this it's like the metallic version of the mids you know the jordan one highs had the metallics so they came out with this version in the mids and this video act this actually this shoe i reviewed this is one of my I think around my 30th or 50th video somewhere early in 2017 when I started sneaker YouTube and this this sneaker actually got a lot of views I was shocked because I think people thought it was a high and it's actually a mid I, was, I get asked about this all the time when they see it like is that a high I'm like nah it's a mid 
And um, this is when I found out I could stack discounts at finish line. So they had 25% off the sneaker along with my 20% at the time for military. And I got the sneaker for like, I think it was like $32. And I couldn't find anything else that I liked in the store. Because <laughs> I walked in there prepared to pay like 160 for some shoes. And um, I couldn't find anything else to buy that I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear those. Obviously I had worn these. These are dead stock. Look at that, clean. Come on, balance, 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 balance. Come on, camera. Ah, oh, you're killing me. Remember when Jordan Brand was doing the pure money, pure platinum run up, and uh, they were releasing all these sneakers for that uh, that line that they were doing. Lost within that run up were the mids, the pure platinum mids, and these are dope. I really like the the color blocking on here. Um, I've worn these quite a bit. All right, I need to clean them because I see like stuff I spilled on them too. But check it out. There we go, almost. And I like the um, the insole on there, the interior, the sock liner, if you will, excuse me. All right, this is a sneaker. <laughs> this is like the Dr. Doom version of the mid. If you, um. You had the phone pods, you got the Dr. Dooms. This is the mid version of it. And it came with the extra laces, obviously. These are dead stock. I got these from the um, one of the military. I can't remember which one. And uh, of course, these came in at $88. Straight dead stock. Have not worn these. Get a little close in there. Yeah, don't wash out. There we are. Yeah, but I have yet to wear these because they're almost redundant. I actually tried to... Um, exchange these and I couldn't find a receipt. I don't know what I did with the receipt with these. So I'm, I'm stuck with one reason why I never wore them because I never committed to them because obviously I have the um, the perforated white and black, both pair, the pack that came out. Then I have the yin yang pack, which made this sneaker right here, like the odd man out. So I, I've never worn these. Um, in essence, I should wear these to preserve my other two packs that are right here. You know. Um, I just never got around with it and everything. And sneaker is, you know, all white soles, these are a beast. These are a beast to keep clean. So now we're gonna get into the uh, the three most hype pairs that I've come across with the mids as of late. And um, you be the judge, you've seen the sneaker and we're gonna end off with one and um, we're gonna chat about it a little bit if you will. Jordan One Mid New Love, arguably the most, the most hyped Jordan mid ever. Now everybody wants this shoe. This shoe was slept upon um, for a minute. Um, everybody dissed it. And then it started like flying off the shelves and they realized that people were pushing this shoe and people can't find anymore. Somebody I know is kicking themselves for not getting this shoe. And they have a reverse version of it where when you see the yellow is black and um, it doesn't have that. Yeah, I'll wear them. It doesn't have that icy yellow sole, okay? But um, yeah, everybody wants these. I've actually had somebody say, hey, can I cop those from you? You're about what, a nine, nine and a half? These are nine and a half. And these were a Father's Day gift. So yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing them. There's some dirt on there right now. I need to clean these up. The sneaker that started it all for me right here with the whole mid craze when I started saying that um, people basically expose themselves this kind of sort of bread right here, the Jim Red Mids. Uh, this is a, a solid, solid sneaker right here. These are selling. Um, some stores can't keep them on shelves. Um, there's a lady here in San Antonio. She goes in a lot of stores around here and wipes them out. Wipes them, she buys every mid. If the mid comes with extra laces, she's on them, she buys them. I see her all the time, like, oh my goodness. She's about to kill the whole inventory over there. But um, shout out to you. So I, I don't know what she's doing with them. Obviously, she's a mid reseller or something like that, I suppose. But I haven't had a chance to chop it up with the next time I, run, I come across, I am going to ask her, like, hey, what's going on? Why are you buying all the mids like that? And hopefully she's uh, willing to, you know, talk to me about it. Or she can tell me, mind my business, whatever. That's on her. But yeah, this Jim Red one right here started all. It did. Where I started seeing that. Um, People weren't being as forthcoming about the shoe. There was a, a sleeper element of the sneaker culture that were copping mids and weren't really saying anything because they felt like people would reject them. But don't worry about that. It's your money. Jim Reds. 
Now, <laughs> arguably the most hype latest version of the Jordan 1 mid, the Pine Green, Green SEs, the special edition version, okay? And the reason why it's special edition because the quality has been enhanced on this sneaker. The leather is much, much better. They're also charging an additional $10. These are $120 um, full retail. I paid $96 for these on base. And um, I probably need to do a video on the price breakdown of your retro Jordans that you're going to see on base because I get asked that a lot. Like, how are you getting into those for the price? How they do that? And um, that video is coming as I get all the information to roll up and uh, make it a, a viable product for you to view. Um, I said product. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm doing editing and production work it makes sure it's a viable video for you to view and say hey that makes sense thanks for breaking that down to me but if we get a closer look you've already seen the sneak up close you get to see why they're calling it the special edition lovely white balance right there camera i i can't wait till i get my other camera back but yeah you see right there that tumblage there you go and um a lot of people were saying that the special edition models actually have better leather than some of the retros. Mm, I got a pair of um, retro OG high, mid, um, excuse me, Jordan ones. And there are some that don't have great leather on, but these come pretty darn close to those. As you said, I lace swapped them from when I did the initial review. I have not worn them yet, but yeah, pine green mids, you saw it. People are going crazy over this shoe. But anyway, comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you tap that notification button so you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade and stand strong with us as we build this army and start conducting maneuvers out here on how to keep this, this YouTube culture positive and respectful and we don't have to get involved in any of that stuff right there to do dope content. And hey, remember, it's not about how much you pay for the sneakers. Why would you pay that much? I'm out of here. Boom. The solution.